Hello guys, Keep Right on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 50 likes, and if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. So in today's preview, it's going to be the match preview for QPR versus Birmingham City this Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff. Let's get straight into uh, straight into the preview. So starting off with QPR. Now of course QPR started to see itself brilliantly. They were second place, and since we beat them back in uh, October, I believe it was, 2-0 at our place, They've fell off a cliff. They've only won one out of the last 14 games. One out of the last 14. They've gone from second to now 19th. That is that is just unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And of course as well, um, Ainsworth, I think that's that. I think that, that's their manager's name, has come into the job. He's got, he's got only one win against Watford, who we got fresh by. Of course, um, QPR's last five um, games... Have been four well, the lost four and um, won one. Sorry, and of course, yeah, like I just mentioned, that was against Watford. They lost six one midweek to Blackpool. We can't really say too much to be fair because that happened to us last season. Um, of course, the top goal scorer is London Dykes with six goals, and um, yeah, we don't tend to do well away at QPR. We've only won there like once in the last ten games, winning that game four three under um, under Gary Monk in twenty nineteen. Chad has got a hat trick. Lee Camp saved the last minute penalty. Absolute scenes that day. So getting on to Blues, of course. Um, yeah, what do I say? That performance against uh, against Watford was just sim was simply unacceptable. Um, to be fair, don't know why he went with a back five. I don't want to see that again in this game against QPR. Hopefully, because QPR are below us in the Championship table on goal difference, they've got a minus twenty goal difference. By the way, Birmingham City's last five um, games. Lost three, drawn one, and won one. So the lineup I would go with um, for this game now I would start Rudy in goal. I would have Trusty and Dean at the back. I would um, have Longello and Colin left and right backs. Then I would have um, I would have Christian uh, Bielik. Yeah, that is his name, Christian Bielik, with uh, Chong and uh, George Hall. And then I would have Hannibal in that cam role. Um, and uh, I would have Scott Hogan and Luka Zukovic up top. I know Scott Hogan. Yep, I'm saying it. I know he missed them. Um, great opportunities against Watford, but, you know, who else have we... I mean, Zukovic, did, what did he do against Watford? I mean, he's hardly scored any goals, so, yeah, um, I think we should go with the two up top, in my opinion. Um, and uh, I think this is a game where we can't afford to lose, really. Our points wouldn't be the end of the world, but Blackpool winning that game against QPR um, on Tuesday, that's put us in a, you know, a, precari a precarious situation. Um, we sit seven points above the bottom three. We, we kind of need to win this game, but it's going to be... Look, I don't think we will lose this game. I can't see it. I can't see... Look, QPR are a wounded animal. They're going to want to... Um, bounce back more than ever after losing 6-1 and disappointing their away fans my prediction for this game I think it's going to be a nil-nil I think it's going to be a goalless draw absolute bore fest we're probably going to play well John Eustace is probably going to be playing a back five and we're just yeah we're just going to take a point that's what I think will happen personally um, I want us to win the game I want us to you know be more positive than we was against Watford if that's too much to ask for Anyway, it's been Keep Right on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. As I said, let's see if we can hit 50 likes. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Blues will get three points? Are you going to the game? Um, and so on and so forth. Are you, are you confident and all that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, Keep Right on.